Hi, welcome. We're continuing our series on Be Prepared. This is week three, and Pastor Tommy spoke this week, and he was talking about uh, how to be prepared in our spiritual lives. And in a minute, he's going to take over and give us a short summary of the message. But before he does that, let me just take a moment and encourage you to use this video in a way that would help produce some spiritual growth in your life and maybe in some others that you care about. Uh, you could use this over dinner as a discussion with your wife and kids, or if you're single with your roommates, mm -hmm. uh, or you could use it at work. You could call together a few coworkers over lunch and watch the video and have a short discussion. Or maybe you want to use it and start a life group. Just invite a few friends, neighbors over and say, hey, let's get together. Let's hear a, a summary of the message and let's have some time together to grow closer to God. Another thing I'd like to ask you to do as you consider how you use it is consider who you can influence to use it. And that would be to send it out to your social network, send, put, post it on Facebook, email it to some friends, and let's get it out there because the more people that engage with God's Word, the more we're going to see people come to Christ and grow closer to Him. So without any further ado, here's Pastor Tommy. Hello, Rock family. My name is Tommy Mosley, one of the pastors here at The Rock, and it was my privilege to be able to give the message this Sunday as we work through our series of uh, Get Ready to Be Prepared. And a couple of things we talked about today to get to get prepared was in, in from James 1, says, When troubles come your way, consider it a great opportunity for joy. You know, one of the things we need to do as Christians to get ready is make sure we're ready with our attitude. That we realize, you know, life may be good and we, we're blessed to be able to walk with the Lord, but that doesn't mean life is going to be easy. You know, it, it doesn't say if, it says when troubles come our way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. And it's easier said than done. It's not always easy to do, but we know what the true north is. We know what God's word says. We know what we need to what we need to get better at, what we need to get good at, what I need to get better at is is when life gives me challenges, realize God's using this to help me grow. Because it goes on to say, when troubles come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. You know, this is... One of the biggest mistakes we make is we think that uh, uh, life is supposed to be easy. Life's not supposed to be easy. God designed it so this can make us stronger. And we need to change our attitude towards it. And literally, like God's Word says, when those troubles come your way, consider it a great opportunity for joy. And then I talked a little bit about how we can consider it a great opportunity for joy. We'll take Jesus' words out of Matthew 7, starting in verse 24. Jesus says, Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on a solid rock. Though the rain may come in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against the house, it won't collapse because I built it because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against the house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. And let's notice there's a, the key word in there is when the rains come. Um, when the rains come, the rains are going to come. It's not if the rain is going to come. And when the rains come is not the time to, uh, to build your foundation. And it doesn't really say um, that your foundation is just built on Jesus. It's actually built on Jesus' teaching. It says very clearly, anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. So it's more than just, I have Christ in my heart and I'm ready for all the troubles of life. No, it's, it's looking into um, Jesus' teaching and following them. And the way we do that is you, you open up the Word and you learn God's teachings. And where, where there's principles that you need to change and add in your life, you add them into your life and you change them because that's a... That's how we get ready. You know, that's how we do this journey. Life's not made to be um, easy. You know, but, but when, when God created the entire universe, last thing He said was, "I looked at it all and I saw that it was good." So life is good. That doesn't mean uh, that it's easy. But these challenges are what are going to perfect you and what are going to perfect me. God bless you, family. 
Thanks, Pastor Tommy. If you're watching this with a group of friends or your family, let me encourage you now when the questions come up on the screen to pause the video and take a, a few minutes, 10, 15, whatever, and talk about the questions that are there and the content from Pastor Tommy. So the questions will come up, push pause, and then I'll be back in a few minutes to wrap it up. Thanks. Thanks for joining us today. I hope this has been encouraging and stimulating in your spiritual journey, helping you to prepare for what's ahead and to engage in deeper growth and relationship with God, getting into the Word, uh, having that right attitude when trials come your way because they're going to come. What I'd like to ask you to do is to let us know how you're using this video and any suggestions to make it better. So if you would email us at lifegroups at sdrock.com We'll get all your input. I'll personally read those and love to hear from you. Thanks so much and God bless.